Happy 2012, Android fans. It's me, the Cool Loser. And today's video is just going to be the roundup of all the daily apps that I always run on my phone. A lot of you guys actually ask me. A lot of you guys are also saying, hey, which apps are you actually keeping? Do you keep them all? No, I do not. And I'm going to show you which applications I keep on my phone forever and for my next phones. The live wallpaper you're looking at is called New Year's Live Wallpaper. It's just like the Christmas one with snowflakes going on, but you can choose different kind of backgrounds for it, you know, touch, and you still get the little extra snow. You can change the snow as well. But let's just move on, and I'm going to go into my settings, and I'm going to show you all my downloaded applications that I have here. Here, we will see all the applications that I use every day, or, you know, mostly all the time, and the other ones that I review are just as great as apps that I always recommend to everybody. You know, I review, I check them out, but I don't have to keep them all, you know, I'm helping you guys. But these are the applications that I definitely have to have on my phone. These are the must-haves for the cool loser. I won't go through each app, I'll just kind of describe it a little bit. Before I begin, you can see the background, I'm kind of changing it around, the lighting. I'm trying to fix the lighting, the better position of what I'm going to be recording in. But this is all temporary for now. And I'll start off by telling you what ad-free is. Ad-free is an application for rooted people to block those ads that are in your games or applications you know when you're trying to play them and they'll pop up and you can't really see the screen or you actually have to touch a spot that kind of clicks on it and ad free will try to remove it it's probably around 85% on removing all those ads on games and apps but you got to remember that the reason why ads are on the games is to furthermore support the developers because developers need to make some kind of money, right? So they can, you know, invest into making the application or better games, stuff like that. So that's why they do it because they're free games on the and apps on the market, which, you know, they got to make money some way. But a lot of us can't tolerate the ads on there. And sometimes they don't have paid versions. So you, you know, you want to support it. You want to pay the guy, but you can't. Adobe Flash, which obviously is uh, Flash support for like what your computer does. Whatever content that has Flash support will be played just like on your computer. Everybody should know about that by now, but this is really good. AirDroid is a must-have application for the people who love to do wireless syncing through your computer and your phone. So you no more cables, no more different applications to download. This has an all-in-one like six different things you can do with it. Transfer all your files, receive calls and text messages, and even reply to them just using your computer. Contacts, everything your phone has, the memory, the state, the battery power, the con just all that stuff will be on the web browser. It'll Once you download this application, it'll tell you how to work it, how to run it. Alarm Droid is an application, well, obviously, to wake up, you know, set your own alarms. One of the best ones that I've used, I like it because it talks to you when the hour comes. It even tells you the weather. Auto Reply is an application to reply to incoming text. I'm kind of going to go into it real quick. Auto reply and here we see it's off and you can set yourself little messages right here. You can reply to incoming messages and here you can save the whatever they say, missed calls, reply to them or reply to incoming call. If I can't get to my phone, why is he not answering? Well, they'll know why. Be rather pro well is my widget right here. If I click on it, it'll actually go to my weather stuff, you know, go through it, tells me the percentage and everything there. That's Speed Weather for you. It's one of the applications that I've liked. Cash Cleaner NG. This is a very old application that I've had for even longer than most of the applications because I use it for cleaning deeply of application cache and data, stuff like that, off my SD card as well. There's tons of other ones. I know that this is a rooted one. I've deleted up to 70 megabytes of free memory that I released. Many of you guys, if you've never done it before, you're probably gonna have lots and lots of cache to delete. And that is gonna be a kind of good thing because you'll free up memory, you'll be able to download more apps, um, might run even faster. Chrome to phone is an application that you use if you use a Chrome browser on your computer, like I do and I'm researching something on my computer and then all of a sudden I need to leave and I want to continue where I left off or I want to remember where I was, you know, doing whatever, continue. All I got to do is download the extension on the browser, on the Google Chrome, and then this will connect together and they'll send signals together. So as soon as I say, oh, I'm going to send this whatever website, whatever I'm doing to my phone, so my phone will receive it and then I'll continue and it'll pop up by itself and I can continue from here and head out the door and move on like if I was on my PC. Go Launcher. Well, Go Launcher is the whole, you know, launcher 
thing that I got going on that you always see right here. I've been using it for quite a while. It used to be ADW, but I switched to Go Launcher because I just love it way more because it has more customizations for it, has more animations. I just love the look to everything that this Go Launcher has. If you want to check out more thorough of what this application does of Go Launcher, I have one dedicated video on showing off everything Go Launcher can do. Handsome SMS is the application that I use over lots of other ones because I love the customizations, the themes, the whole different layout. It has a little bit tweaks that other ones don't have, but I think the other ones have some cooler stuff, but this just has a little bit more features that I like out of Hansit that makes me keep it with them. Here's my little custom made stuff. I was see blue and then I got the green and if I click in it, we see all this little bubble axe, my colors. I mean, I made it look this way. And here's the theme that I use, Hansit SMS Skin Darkness, if you want to do that. Lookout is one of those must-have applications for us to, you know, recover our lost phones. What if it got stolen and backing up a whole bunch of different things. It detects if the application or game has a virus, if it should be uninstalled or not. It has a backup. It has a missing device. If you lose it, it'll, you know, track it. It'll go pinpointing on your GPS that you make an account and it all works easy. It's free. There's a premium version and Lookout has been good enough just to use it free for me. Know everything. This is is the application I use to note all my notes like seriously there's tons of awesome notes out there but note everything has been my favorite it's just the easiest it has lots of cool things with it I'm just gonna open it up and go to know everything here's the add button and here's what you can do text note paint notes voice notes note from barcodes and note from Google Docs so there's lots of little features here text is what I have basically all here but you can leave you some voice notes paint notes you know draw little pictures do stuff like that sort them to make folders and everything I don't really need to do that and if I click on it right here look at all that that's all the apps that I have it's harder to find applications than it is to find all these games those are all games to review guys I have tons look at that good luck ciphering that <laughs> And there's other stuff here going on that I have lots of notes on. And here we have Quick Pick. Many of us don't like the stock album that comes with our Android. And I don't have a problem with the stock one. But I just like Quick Pick because it loads so much quicker. I like the layout a little bit better than what that has. I'm going to open it and go to Quick Pick. And here is how it all categorizes it. But you can you know, click on it. And just go side by side. And... It just loads way better. I just like the look of it. And the thing is that you can hide pictures and videos and do different folders. But click on menu. So show hitting. And here is the passwords that you enter. So I have secret photos in here that no one will ever be able to get to and see without a password. ROM manager is the ROM manager where I use to, you know, flash different ROMs. Try different operating systems is what I do. You know, there's free ones and then there's a premium, which a premium allows you to use more features than what the free ROM manager does. But this is where I'll fix permissions if something was wrong or trying out the new operating system. Screen filter is one of the most applications that I've used that it's always on, but I turned it off so I can show you how to turn it on. Screen filter does this, um, also turns off these little keys. I don't know if you can see, you can see. They're really dim on a Nexus. They're not really bright, but they're, these are on. And also, if I don't want my screen to be so bright, even on the lowest setting, I can make it even lower. I have a quick button right here. I'll click on it. I'm going to see if I can show you right there. I'm going to click. And they, they actually turned off. Now look at that. They're, they're off. And now I have a little symbol right there. And if I open it up, and here we see enable screen filter. And there's the adjusting. Here's what we can see. And I can you know drag it down and make it super like hard to see. But I leave it here because I like turning these buttons off because it saves me battery power. Not everyone can turn these off. I don't know which phones it does work for, but I do know that many phones won't be able to turn these off. Then here we have SwiftKey keyboard. SwiftKey keyboard is, well, replacement keyboards. Why? Because it predicts my whole entire sentence. Here's different themes, different looks. Um, I just like the way it all works out. Seriously, guys, like it just works so good. It is a paid app. You can try it out for 30 days, but it links up to your Gmail, your Twitter, your Facebook. It learns from your texting on your text. It's just an all-out best keyboard that I've had for about a year and a half. I tried so many other ones that are so comparable, but I just love the support that SwiftKey has in updates. Swipe Pad well, is another application that I always use every day. I love pulling it out. 
here is what swipe pad is it brings up this little secret widget type of thing like you can set it anywhere around the phone you can even have a whole you know big block you can even have different ones like if i was slide on this one here is these applications and if i slide this side there'll be different applications but that's the paid version this is the free version this is all i really need to pop up doing that way but let's say i'm in any application i'm like oh i gotta make a call I just jump right into the dialer by doing that and it'll go right to the same spot by just clicking back so swipe pad is really good because you can set it just hold it down on it you'll feel it vibrate and then it'll pop up which application shortcuts you can add widgets app launcher different things there it just works so good tech buzz is a widget that shows you all stuff about technology computers android iphone kind of what websites put up and they post and you can see them from here and read little short clips of it titanium backup is an application that i use to back up all my files of the applications and games like say i want to uninstall a game but i don't want to lose my data i use titanium backup because if i transfer to another phone i can use the backup of whatever data that is to go into this one or let's say i'm changing roms and i'm you know when you change roms you lose all your saved data all your cache and everything well this will save it i just like doing certain applications that i want and i do you titanium backup and you can also uninstall applications that are on your phone like the bloatware that they call like applications you don't want tweet deck is an application that i use to do my tweeting and facebooking this is a tweet dark version but uh, TweetDeck shows you all the tweets of people. You can make different columns and everything. And here's what people will tweet towards me. Like these are mentions. And here is my timeline. And it goes with Facebook. Like if I click on accounts, there's the Coup Loser. I can add more Twitter. There's my Facebook. And there's Google Buzz right there and Foursquare. It's all cool, timed out. You can even search through people. You can click on their photos. Here's what you would do to, you know, add google buzz facebook and there's twitter so if you want just facebook say and whatever so you can read and comment through everything through here ultimate face pro everyone has lately asked me what is this application that i use all showcasing my apps i've been using it since i first started doing it since i first started reviewing applications and this is ultimate phase pro clicking on it and you will see the applications that i round up through here we can even add different more things to it let's say contact card contact phone contacts you can see what we can add and this is where i go and then i choose which ones i want to add voice search yes i use voice search i don't always type everything on my phone everyone's like ah oh, they hate typing and they want to look for something do it quicker everyone has this option you might have to download it to be able to do it but voice search it just does this what does a monster look like and it goes through the google and it says, what does a monster look like? And you get the preferences right there, what to say. So that's quicker. Instead of always having to type it, open everything up, I just quickly do it. Watch Beep is an application that I've ever since I reviewed it, I've had to have. I love knowing every hour of the day. You'll hear beep beep. You can choose when to stop the beeping between hours. Winamp is an application that I use to stream live radio. It's like an XM player. It made me seriously keep Winamp on my computer because I love what this does for my phone. It stores all your MP3s and stuff like that as well. But what I mainly love it for is for its live radio streaming because it just has so many options. I just love all the stuff, tons of players out there. And Winamp has seriously won me over out of all of them because just of what the what comes out of it. And then of course YouTube where I can watch my YouTube as that application here instead of going to the browser, just jumping right into there. I've met people who actually never use the YouTube app and the YouTube app is pretty good. And here we see I got 14,274 subscribers. Thank you, every one of you have made me today. I love doing this to help every one of you guys out. If you guys want me to continue doing the best apps and game reviews and new content for the future, I will just spread the word of the cool loser and I love you guys all. Thank you so much for rating and commenting on my videos. It just really helps me improve and grow on my channel. That was it. These were just the top 22 best apps of 2011 by the Coup Loser. If you guys were wondering which applications I kept, those were my must-haves. And that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed your 2011 with me, the Coup Loser. And thank you for joining, Andrew fans. I'm going to grab my birdie, Magwai. So we can say goodbye for 2011. This is Magwai right here, the guy who makes little noises in the background. We love you, and so... Yeah, keep joining and sticking around. Android rules. Please rate my video and give me a thumbs up. 
comment on my video and tell me what's up. Subscribe to my channel, don't forget to spread the word. Tell them who's the best, it's the Coop Loser. Follow me on Twitter, on Google Plus, on Facebook, so we can stay in touch.